Hello everyone, I'm Brian Croyd Reagan and welcome back to Undertale. I've backtracked to get more stuff, so hopefully this should uh, not take as long. <coughs> As long as you're green, you can't escape. Unless you learn to face danger head on. You won't last a second against me. Not bad, then how about this? For years we've dreamed of a happy ending. Yeah, well the ending can't come in the middle of middle of the story. And now sunlight is just within our reach. I won't let you snatch it away from us. Enough warming up. Time to make a beeline for the exit. You won't get away from me this time. Honestly, I'm doing you a favor. Fuck you, telephone! No human has ever made it past Asgore. Hold on, better make sure it's not a relative. <laughs> well, missed whoever it was, so just continue on. You told Undyne you don't want to fight, but nothing happened. Killing you now is an act of mercy. You told Undyne you didn't want to fight, but nothing happened. So stop being so damn resilient. Oh, jeez. You've escaped from me for the last time. Alfie's told me humans were determined. I see now what she meant by that. Ugh. But I'm determined to... Determined to end this right now! Right now! Yes. Yeah. Right now. Jeez. Oh, 
It's something. You mean the timing flex you recovered? Ha ha! Die already, you little brat! Ah, jeez. Aha! Run, run, run as fast as you can. You never catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Hey, what's up? I was just thinking. And I'll go check it. Alright, I'm back. I'm sorry for that little intermission. You, me, and Undyne should all hang out sometime. I think you would make rock pounds. Let's meet up at our house later. Stop running away. You drink the CT, your speed boosts, you recover 10 HP. You die already, you little brat. Almost finished this. <coughs> Armor so hot, but I can't give up. You know, if I was just to give everyone a Scottish accent, this would make everything so much easier. So, water corner, take a cup of water? Yes. And take a cup of water. Do you have under in the water? Yes. Right, let's go uh, <coughs> visit Undyne. The 
Howling wind is never breathed. This gives you determination. Bah! Today's monsters don't appreciate what makes puzzles great. Nowadays, puzzles are nothing but lasers and moving rocks. Bah! There's no art in that action in modern schlock. It's just timing based dribble. Give me something that challenges the deepest reaches of my mind. You! You're young! You've still got hope. Yeah, heh heh, here, try solving this block pushing puzzle. What? What are you doing? You're pushing it all wrong! Bah! Forget it! This generation is really hopeless. Are you. Are you. Uh, were those his. Is that the monster's lips or. Lipstick? Might as well uh, pay Timmy Village a visit since I'm passing this way. You feel something you feel with determination. Let's see here, what can I... Yeah, sure, what the heck. It's cheap, and it does bring up my health, even if it's just a little. Just a little. Take a crab apple, CT. Wait, what's in this? No, I don't want a weapon. Nothing new. Jeez, what kind of a voice did I give him? I think I ended up giving him a southern accent. Oh ho! The human arrives! Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you to great friends! Can you hang out? Yes. Okay! Stand behind me! Psst! Make sure to give her this! She loves these! Hi Papyrus! Ready for your expert private one on one training. You bet I am! And I brought a friend! Ah, uh, I don't think we've met. Why don't you two come in? Here are. Mm, wrong voice! <laughs> Not to say Schwarzenegger Papyrus isn't a, an amusing concept, but... Here I'm done! My friend brought a gift for you on their own. Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. So are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie, I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. You to have fun. Never of Browns. 
So why are you here? Oh god, it's like I just caught a Schwarzenegger. Oh god. To rub your victory in my face? To you lenient me even further? Is that it? Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right. Really? How delightful I accept. It's all frolic in the fields of friendship. Not. Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Get down. Now get out of my house. Dang, what a shame. I thought Undyne could be friends with you. But I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you. <laughs> what a joke. I can make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be besties. I'll make you like me so much. You won't be able to think of anyone else. <laughs> it's the perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seat? I can sign the bone drawer? Yes. Hello, Toby Fox. And the sink is a teacup in the shape of a fish. One time, Alvis's uh, friend came over here. All he did was slice it effectively on the piano and fit himself grapes. I don't really like that guy. But I admire his lifestyle. Sit down in progress? Yes. Comfortable. I'll get you something to drink. <coughs> I'll sit. What would you like? Hey, don't get up. You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Um, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. Tiha, coming right up. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. Okay, it's all done. Here we are. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot, just drink it already. And take a sip of the tea, it's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Hey, you know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. Sort of. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad. But he was beaming. I never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. Oh god, I was going to sneeze.
And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dogs to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's, he's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you. And he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He get ripped into little smiling shreds. That's a part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know. So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. Oh, sorry, I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. <coughs> Wait a second. Papyrus, his cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now. And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him. <coughs> That's right. Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking. Which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you can ever imagine. <laughs> Afraid we're going to be best friends. Oh god, we have bad weather for an entire weekend and immediately my whole family is calling to, to check up on me. <laughs> Bless them, but <coughs> not the best timing. Let's start with the sauce. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your feasts. Have only pound, Rempy. You pet the vegetables in an affectionate manner. Oh my god, stop petting the enemy. I'll show you how it's done. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, we'll just scrape this into a bowl later. But for now... We add the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best. But I just buy store brand. They're the cheapest. Yeah. yeah, just put them in the pot. How about you put them in the... Careful. You place the noodles in one at a time. They clink against the empty bottom. Nice. Alright. Now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. Stir harder. Harder. Harder! Ugh, let me do it. 
Oh no, count like a overkill. <laughs> That's the stuff. Alright, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stove top symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready, don't hold anything back. Hotter. Hotter, darn it. Hotter. Wait, that's two. This is probably why you won't get a job as a cooking teacher. Oh, man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. Yeah, because you're the one teaching him. So what's next? Scrapbooking, friendship bracelets. Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay, because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. I've been defeated, my house is in shambles, I even failed to befriend you, that's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore, one final rematch, all out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now come on, hit me with all you've got. You pretend to swing it and on with all your might. What? That's the best you can manage. You call that? You just can't muster in, in any intent to hurt me, huh? Heh, <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first I hated your stupid saccharin stick, but... The way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are afraid to fight, but knowing him, he probably doesn't want to talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here, and I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? Hoo hoo hoo. Oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? Hoo hoo hoo. Now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang with Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk to... Well, see you later, punk. And now to continue on our way... <coughs> Hopefully without my family calling to check in on me. You feel a calming tranquility. You're filled with determination. Uh, yeah, I'll take another crab apple and some more CT. Be careful out there, kid! Let's head back to Timmy Village, get some stuff.
Yeah, so if I... Okay, guess I, I'm not gonna be getting anything then. something to talk about, uh, so I'm not with any dead air, I finished Donkey Kong Country 3 today on my Super Nintendo Classic. Uh, continued on with Chrono Trigger. Gonna have to try again with, uh, try fitting Hecran again. is now a breeze. This gives you determination. Okay, 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 I was thirsty, so I came over from the waterfall to get a drink. Ah, oh, the two idiots. Seeing such a strange laboratory in a place like this, you're filled with determination. Tra la la, I am the river man. Why am I the river woman? It doesn't really matter. I'd love to ride in my boat. Would you care to join me? Or in the boat? Uh, not now. Then perhaps another time. Or perhaps not. It doesn't really matter. Hi! Alex has come to join us. It's you? It's two dogs you see near the walls. Oh my god! I didn't expect you to show up so soon! I haven't showered! I'm barely dressed! It's all messy and... And of course, my voice drives off Alex. Um... Uh, uh, hiya! I'm Dr. Alphys. I'm Asgore's world scientist. But, 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 uh... I'm not one of the bad guys, actually. Since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, um, been observing your journey through my console. Your fights, your friendships, everything. I was originally going to stop you, but watching someone on a screen really makes you root for them. So, so uh, now I want to help you using my knowledge. I can easily guard you through Heartland. I know a way right to Asgore's castle, no problem. Well, actually, um, there's just a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Metaton. I was named program to be an entertainment robot, uh, you know, like a robotic TV star or something. Anyway, recently, I decided to make him more useful. You know, just some small practical adjustments, like, um, anti-human anti combat features? Of uh, course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a GNC mistake while doing so. And, um, now he's an unstoppable c c killing machine with a lot of human blood. <laughs> but, um... Oh, jeez. But, um, hopefully we won't run into, um... <coughs> right on cue. Did you hear something?
Did you hear something? Yes. <laughs> oh no. Mm. Oh no. Oh, I'm all shook up. Oh yes. Oh, welcome beauties. To today's quiz show. Oh boy, I can already tell it's going to be a great show. Everyone give a big hand for our wonderful contestant. Never played before, gorgeous. No problem, it's simple. There's only one rule. Answer correctly. Or you die. Screaming is against the wounds. Let's start with an easy one. What's the prize for answering correctly? Right, sounds like you got it. Oh. Screaming is against the wounds. I can just picture medicine snapping a strip of tape over Frisk's mouth. Here's your terrific prize. What's the king's full name? Oh, correct. What a terrific answer. Enough about you. Let's talk about me. Oh, what are robots made of? Too easy for you, huh? The quiz show continues. Screaming. <laughs> Here's another easy one for you. Wonderful. I'm astounded, folks. Don't count on your victory. How many flies are in this jar? Correct. You're so lucky today. Oh. Let's play memory game. What monster is this? I'm so flattered you remembered. Oh. Thanks, you yeah. Thank you very much. But can you get this one? Well, only one answer. Great answer. I love it. Scream. Here's a simple one. How many letters in? Of course, that was easy for you. The quiz show continues. Time to break out the big guns. Oh, oh, oh I know this one. Oh, I can't. Alphys, 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 you aren't helping our contestant, are you? Oh, oh, you should have told me. I'll ask a question. You'll be sure to know the answer to. <coughs> now, I don't, chronologically, we don't know this yet. So, p give the chronological answer. Correct. Dr. Alphys has a crush on the unknowable. You see, Alphys believes there is someone out there. Someone watching her. Oh, someone she thinks is cute and interesting. And oh, theoretical person. Dr. Alphys likes you. Too bad you are not real. No. Hey, I've done research about this. Now our alternate universe is out there. So someday maybe I can meet them. You said the exact same thing about Mew Mew Kissy Cutie. Oh, but I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Person, if you're out there, how about giving us a sign right now? Oh, 
That settles that, doesn't it? Round, round, round! The Doctor Alf is helping you! The show has no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this, but... But, this was just a pilot episode, oh... Next up, more drama, more romance, more bloodshed! Until next time, darlings! Thank you, thank you very much. Well, that was certainly something. <coughs> now, that last question, he wasn't su supposed to ask that one. Wait, wait! Let me give you my p phone number. L then, m maybe if you need help, I could... Well, where did you get that phone? It's ancient! doesn't even have texting. Well, wait a second, please. <coughs> Here, I upgraded it for you. It can do anything. <coughs> Just run it again. It can do texting, items, it's got a keychain. I even signed you up for the Underground's number one social network. Now we're a fresh new friend, so <laughs> I'm going to the bathroom. Just realized I didn't watch and in front of the human. Well, I know she's unbeatable. I'll ask her about it later. For now, I gotta call up the human and guide them. Vulcan throws in. Encourage. You tell me Vulcan is doing a great job as attacks become extremely oh dear. Oh god. Gonna call him in a minute. The rushing sound of steam and cogs. It fills you with determination. I hate using the phone. I don't want the Dillness Lamel. <coughs> Wait, what am I doing? Sandra Plane gets in the way. Approach. You get closer to Sandra Plane, but not too close. E e human! You won. You uh, zero experience and sixty gold. OMG! I'm at my claw for the last digit for five minutes. OMG! I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna call. Whoever was calling hung up before you answered it. Uh, uh hi. So the blue lasers are. Uh, I mean, Alpha is here. Hi, the blue lasers won't hurt you if you don't move. Uh, orange ones, um, y you have to be moving and they, um, they won't, um, move the lowest ones. Uh, bye. Was, uh, OMG, I did it! Claws haven't shook like this and Sun don't call me to ask about the weather. Wait, there's no weather down here. Why did she call me? And where did the snow come from? Switch, press it. The lasers were deactivated. <coughs> oh my god, I forgot to tell them where to go! Keep back of me right now. It's a photo of a garbage can with several pink glittery filters over it. Uh, Alphys here, the, the Northern Door won't stay locked in town to you, so solve the puzzles on the right and left. I, I think you should, should g g go to the right first. I wonder if it would be unfun if I explain the puzzle. 
The door leading through the area is closed, so I tried the puzzle. But I kept running out of ammo and it kept restarting. And my two co-workers won't help us, like they don't even want to go to work. Wow, you solved it? I'm impressed, you must be a total nerd. Officer, no, that blue laser seems totally impossible. But, 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 as the wild scientist, I, I have some tricks up my sleeve. I, I'll hack into the little outlet and laser database and to egg it out. <coughs> okay, let's figure this out. No. Whatever, I'll just explain it. Uh, I think, um, um, hey, about the puzzles on the left and right, they're a bit difficult to explain, but, uh, you already just solved them? Awesome! <clears throat> and now for cooking with a killer robot. Uh, hey, it's kind of dark in there, isn't it? Don't worry, I'll lag in your light system and freshen it up. Oh no! Oh yes, oh, oh. Welcome beauties on the underground's premiere cooking show. Cooking with a killer robot, oh. Preheat your ovens because we've got a very special recipe for you today, oh. oh. We're gonna be making a cake. My lovely assistant here will get all the ingredients. Everyone give them a big hand. You'll need sugar, milk and eggs. Go for it, sweetheart. You found the sugar. Milk, sugar and eggs. You should be able to find them on the back counter. You found the milk. You found the eggs. Great job, just put them in the middle of this counter. Perfect, great job, beautiful. Oh, we've got all lovely ingredients, we need to bake the cake. Milk, sugar, eggs, I ain't nothing but a hound dog. Oh, oh ma, wait a never sent moment, how could I forget? We're missing the most important ingredient. Oh, a human soul. Could have sworn he was right here. Hello? Hello? <clears throat> Hello, I'm kind of in the middle of something here. Oh. Well, wait a second. Can't you make a... Can't you use a... Mm, excuse me. I haven't eaten in... Oh, in an hour and 41 minutes. Couldn't you... Can't you make a substitution in the recipe? A substitution? You mean use a different non-human ingredient? Oh... Wow... Oh, uh, what if someone's... Vegan? Vegan? Oh, uh, well, I mean... That's a brilliant idea, Alfie's. Thank you. Thank you very much. Actually, I happen to have an option right here. But it's on brand. Always convenient. Human soul flavor substitute. I kind of put just on that counter. <clears throat> well, darling, why don't you get it? And it's jetpack time. By the way, our show runs on a strict schedule. If you can't get the can in the next one minute, you'll just have to go back to the original plan. 
So better start climbing, beautiful. Oh no, that's not enough time to climb up. For, for, fortunately, I might have a plan. When I was upgrading your phone, I added a few features. You see that huge button that says jetpack? Watch this. There. You should have just enough fuel to reach the top. Now, get up there. Mama, it seems you bested me, but only because you had the help of the brilliant Dr. Alfie, so... Oh, I love to think of what would have happened to you without her. Without Toodles. Oh yes, about the substitution. Haven't you ever seen a cooking show before? Oh, oh. I already packed the cake ahead of time, so forget it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Wow, we, we did it! We, we really did it! Great job out there, team! Well, well uh, anyway, let's keep heading forward. An ominous structure loops in the distance. You're filled with determination. <laughs> so, seen that building in the distance? That's the core, the source of all power from the underground. It converts geothermal energy into magical electricity by, uh, anyway, that's where we, we're going to go. In the core is an elevator directly to Asgore's castle. And from there, you can go home! Mm -hmm. Sesame, am I moving a bit slower? Hey, I'm Heat Flamesman. Remember my name. I love hot dogs. Hey, isn't it weird there's snow on that guy's roof? Guess he's just too lazy to clean it off. Toasty bun. Dinner with my girlfriend. It's a picture of a cat girl figurine next to a bone of events than noodles. I'm a posting hot picture. Hot pics. Here's me and my cool friend. It's a picture of Papyrus flexing in front of a mirror. He is wearing sunglasses. Giant muscular biceps are pasted under his arms. The biceps are also wearing sunglasses. Pyro bounds towards you. Invite. You invite Pyro to hang out. Sorry, I'm all tied up. <coughs> Pyro is chuckling through its teeth. Cool down. You blow on Pyro, but. Bruh, what's the deal? God. What? Oh! Move his... Heat up. You crank up the thermoset. Pyro... I'm not against getting excited. Hot, 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 hotter, hotter! Um... You crank up the thermoset. It's super hot. Pyro looks satisfied. Hot, hot, hotter, hot! Oh! Oh, jeez! Oh, my lord! The room is 
There. No, oh, Coon Skeleton 95, that's a joke, right? Coon Skeleton 95 up to your status. L the only joke here is, mus is how strong my muscles are. Accept the request? Accept. It seems to have already rejected itself. There is an apron lying on the ground. When you take it, take it. You're... Well then, in that case... You eat the Tamiflex, you recover 2 HP. You eat the Tamiflex, you recover 2 HP. You eat the crab app when your HP was maxed out. There's an apron lying on the ground. When you take it, you got the stained apron. Let's take a look here. Info. Stained apron, armor defense 11. Definitely useful. You equip the apron. Let's just compare it to the manly bandana. Manly bandana. Armor Defense 7! <coughs> Hi! It's Dr. Alphys! This proposal is going to, um, to arming based! You, you see those switches over there? You, you'll have to press all three of them within three seconds! I'll try to help you with a rhythm! Okay, now press the third one! Uh, uh, hey! Looks like you only need to press two of them! Yeah, apparently. Oh god. That's the last time I tried to help with a puzzle, Lamau! Uh, 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 hey! I'm going to go to the bathroom so I'll be MIA for a bit. I'm, I'm sure you can handle this puzzle yourself. I hate this puzzle. Hmm. <sighs> Jeez, let's try and figure this one out. Damn it! Huh. Jeez. Why can I never forget? <laughs> remember? I always forget with this one.
Right. Right, there we go. OMG, people like Mew Mew 2 is better than Mew Mew 1? Lol, well, that's a joke, right? Knowing the mouse might one day hack the computerized safe and get the cheese, it filled you with determination. Right, that's all for today, everyone. I'm Brian Croydragon, signing out. Stay straight!